My next startup founder aims to give its users all the perks and discounts and exclusivity of elite credit cards without having to be one of those card holders. Carlos Cisco is with me now. He is the co-founder and CEO of Select. Carlo, great to have you with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. So you are like a next generation Amex. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Okay, so in some ways, how are you borrowing from the older, more exclusive card model, but yet still offering something that makes a little bit more sense to millennials. Sure. So it's, I would say it's twofold. So rather than you know accepting or denying members based on a credit score or some sort of financial information, we're really looking for people that are an interesting fit for the community. And then also in terms of the benefits that we offer them, we're offering them things that are tangible and frequent like daily use. Benefits. So in other words, not just membership points to be redeemed later and you have to log on to another site and figure it out. You're just saying right away, for example, you're out to friend, you're out to dinner with your friends, 30% off your dinner tab. Exactly. Or free round of drinks or anything like that. So how do your users, your clients manage? I'm assuming it's all mobile. Um, it's mobile and also through like a black membership card that can act as an extension of any pre-existing credit or debit card. Now I know that you did work for Groupon, so right. you saw a little bit, you guys to test this idea out a little bit. What did you learn from Groupon that made you say, okay, I'm ready to launch Select? Well, what I saw right away um, was that the model had huge potential, but that it didn't service like the premium merchants or premium customers in the right way. I wanted to create something that was profitable and sustainable for businesses and easy and you know, a good experience for customers. But you still have to be selective. And I heard you say right. even that person's value to the community is important. So then if you're not using traditional credit scores, how are you judging? So it's typically based on just like, you know, people that we think would enjoy the events that we have and enjoy the benefits that we offer. So anyone that, that kind of fits into that demographic. And then how are you finding those partners, let's call them, for example, for the events or for the restaurants? Uh, initially, we were building our own lists. Now we work primarily off of member recommendations and also sort of filtering inbound interests. So as our community continues to grow, we're starting to see a lot of partners reach out to us. All right. So the whole ecosystem is feeding itself. And I know since July, you have something like 5,000 members. Yep. Yep. So okay. we had uh, 300 um, before July and over 5,000 today. All right, the numbers speak for themselves. Carlo, thank you very much for the time. Yeah, thank you for having me. Carlo Cisco joining me there, co-founder and CEO of Select.